Hi everyone. A big topic of discussion is Assembly Bill 5, in which recent developments have prompted many questions from clients. My focus is on part B of this three-part test, but we have more information on our blog, which I will place a link at the bottom. Part B is a huge concern right now, especially in the trucking industry as the Supreme Court of California has just kicked this issue back to the district courts. So AB5 is in effect since 2020, but specifically owner operators in trucking are affected as of this month. Please let me start by saying that we are trying to help our clients classify their employees correctly. So deciding between treating them as an employee or an independent contractor. Employees are processed through payroll and have payroll deductions. Contractors receive a payment with no deductions usually, and they receive a 1099 NEC at the end of the year. In 2018, there was a class action lawsuit in which the court found drivers had been misclassified. The factors that helped them decide the court case have now been made law. The core of this bill is a three-part test called the ABC test, in which all three factors need to be satisfied in order for the hiring entity to prove that the worker is not an employee. So part A is a worker needs to be free from control. Part B, the worker performs the work outside the usual course of the hiring entity's business. This is the part we are focusing on as this is the biggest concern right now. Part C, the work being performed by the worker is the worker's usual business or occupation. So all three parts need to be satisfied in order for the hiring entity to prove that the worker is not an employee. So our focus, like I mentioned, is part B of this three-part test. This is causing the real issue among our clients. Just a side note, in the trucking industry, a driver that drives your company trucks who is not an owner operator, they should be on W2 because they use your equipment and you control the manner in which the work is done. You tell them when to work and the routes that they should take. This has been the case before AB5 and after AB5. Nothing has changed. If you are a trucking firm that operates company trucks and you also hire owner operators, then they are in the same line of work as you. You fail part B of this test and therefore you should be treating the owner operators as your employee. Now there may be workarounds, but my recommendation is that you hire an attorney and structure this properly. A freight brokerage company can hire owner operators as they are not in the same line of work as you. The options should be discussed with an experienced attorney in your industry. There are huge penalties imposed by the DOT and the Labor Division here in California if you get this wrong. Let's do another example. Let's say you are a pizza delivery restaurant such as a round table pizza or mountain mics. So you hire an independent electrician to install lighting or repair a device. That electrician is in a different line of work from you and therefore you pass part B of this test. So going back to the trucking example. If you own a trucking company and hire an owner operator, then they are in the same line of work as you and under part B of this test, they are your W-2 employee and should be on payroll. So you as the employer cannot be in the same line of work if you want to treat your owner operator as an independent contractor. Under the ABC test, you have to pass all three parts of the test. The older Barillo test uses multiple factors that can be used, also known as common law factors. This test will be used for certain professions. Enforcement of AB5 will be done by the Division of Labor in California, which is the state equivalent to the US Department of Labor. And of course, when the EDD comes to audit for payroll taxes, they will include your own operators in any payroll tax assessment. Now, if misclassified workers such as your owner operators want to retaliate, they would be allowed employee benefits such as this list. They would be allowed to file complaints with state agencies such as the EDD and Division of Labor. They can also file a lawsuit in court. So if you want to hire independent contractors, please make sure you pass the ABC test. Contact an attorney that specializes in your industry and make sure you are structured correctly. Thanks again for watching today. If you have any questions on this, please reach out to me. I look forward to seeing you soon.